So again, uh, recently I was, you know, I was very wrong because uh, I thought we were going to break out, you know, before this pullback. I thought we were going to break above 25,000 and continue to go all the way up into this 28,000 and 32,000 dollar range. Uh, but it looks like, you know, Bitcoin wants to pull back first, right? It looks like Bitcoin wants to pull back first, you know, before we get, you know, this move up into this $30 range. Now, it does not have to pull all the way back to retest this range right here. But something I think can also play out is an inverse of the head and shoulder patterns. So, you know, the head and shoulder patterns, you know, normally, right, looks like this. Oops, uh, maybe not the, not the greatest example. This is the head and shoulder patterns. Uh, this one, you know, of course, is very, you know, it's very bearish because you have the left shoulder right here, you have the neck right here, you have the right shoulder. And, uh, you know, once the right shoulder is rejected, you know, you get a big, you know, you get a big drop, okay? Now, what we have right now is a potential, you know, inverse head and, you know, uh, head and shoulder patterns, okay? So, we have this right here. This will be your, uh, your left shoulder. And then we have the neck right here. Uh, so, what's happening right now, to me, you know, looks like, you know, something that could potentially be the right shoulder. So this could potentially be the right shoulder forming, okay? So if we drop all the way down, you know, in order for this to be the right shoulder, uh, the price of Bitcoin will have to come all the way down into this $18,000 range, okay? So again, this is your left shoulder. We try to make sure you can see it. This is your left shoulder right here. This is the neck, all right? And what's happening right now will be the right shoulder. So if this pattern, you know, was to complete, as long as Bitcoin, you know, stays above this range right here, guys, we talked about this, you know, so many times on this channel. As long as Bitcoin stays above, you know, this $18,000 range, this is, you know, very, very bullish. And, you know, the next time we go up, we're more likely to blast above $25,000 and go all the way up into this $30,000 range. So the more I continue to look at the chart of Bitcoin, right? The more I continue to see multiple, multiple, you know, different reasons to be bullish, okay? This is reason number one to be bullish. Reason number two to be bullish. You know, if we were to get this pullback right here and come back and hold this $18,000 range for the first time, we have a higher low for the first time since, you know, the beginning of this bear market. Uh, so you can see throughout this downtrend, we had, you know, multiple lower highs and lower lows. OK, but if we can. If we can come back and hold 18,000 for the first time we have a higher low, just like, you know, back in, uh, just like back here. Okay, we had this push right here, we came back, all right? We didn't take out, you know, these lows right here. And for the first time since, you know, early 2018, since the beginning of the 2018 bear market, we broke the structure. We put in, you know, higher highs and higher lows. And that's exactly what we have right here. For the first time, you know, we broke structures, uh, put in higher highs, and this will be a higher low. So the more I continue to look at the chart of Bitcoin, you know, the more bullish I continue to become. And, you know, the more I continue to speculate that the pullback is really just, you know, an opportunity right for long-term investors because this opportunity is not going to be here for you know forever uh this is you know going to come to an end uh you know just like you know every other cycle 
but just like you know every other trend uh there's always go there's always going to be an end to it uh the bear market personally i think has ended you know the only way for me to be bearish again the price will have to go below this range right here if we drop you know below this range you know we back into this downtrend you know you can see if we use if we use this downtrend right here right if we break you know below this range right here then you know bitcoin comes back into something like this uh but if we can you know stay above this range i have to be bullish i have to be bullish okay because there's absolutely no way you know we go lower if we stay above eighteen thousand dollars so the more i continue to look at the chart of bitcoin just you know the more i continue to become you know bullish and the more i continue to get very excited and in fact in fact i am accumulating right now uh not bitcoin because i'm already done accumulating bitcoin but i am accumulating you know some of my favorite old coins uh, i continue to dca as we continue to pull back and my goal is to be fully invested by the end of this pullback right my goal is to fully be invested for the upcoming bull market by the end of this pullback and this is something i talked about you know so many times over the last couple of weeks you know i talked about how extremely important the pullback was going to be uh now the question is you know is this the pullback that is going to bring us all the way down into this eighteen thousand dollar range or are we going to push all the way up to 30 and come back to twenty five thousand, and then you know get something like this all right there's two scenarios that can potentially play out we can come back you know maybe to twenty one thousand or we can come all the way down to eighteen thousand dollars or we can push all the way up into that thirty thousand dollar range and then come back to retest you know twenty five thousand and this will be right the last you know accumulation at these levels right here because once you know once we take out twenty five thousand and get the pullback to retest twenty five thousand I don't think we are ever going to see you know a twenty five thousand dollar bitcoin uh, I do not think we are ever going to see you know a twenty five thousand dollar bitcoin because once bitcoin gets above i mean let me show you how much you know how much of uh how much of a support is going to be above 30. i mean once bitcoin gets above this range right here this one right here you know once bitcoin gets above this range it is very it's very hard to see how you know we're ever going to lose uh, this support and come back to twenty five thousand. Okay, I think this is going to be the range that is going to be the flow. All right, for this upcoming bull market, and maybe this might be, you know, sometimes in the next bear market, uh, if Bitcoin is, I don't know, I fit. Uh, let's say the next all time high is one hundred and fifty thousand dollar Bitcoin. You know, if we do get another 75 or 80 percent drop you know if you go from 150 down you know 75 percent that brings the price of bitcoin you know somewhere around uh 36 37 000 so this might be the bottom of the next bear market if we were to get an 80 percent drop it brings us right down into this range right here if our next all-time high is 150 thousand dollars so to me when i look at the chart of bitcoin again there is no guarantee in the market this does not have to happen but i think you know you're looking at the last opportunity you know to get some bitcoin below thirty thousand dollars like i really believe that i really believe this i don't know how long this is going to last okay it could potentially last for 12 months you know maybe we trade in this range for 12 months or maybe we push all the way up you know into this range right here maybe all the way up to forty-two thousand, and then we get a pullback down here 
and this might be the last time you know you give the price of bitcoin under thirty thousand dollars okay uh, and again i don't know how long this is going to take but this is not going to last this is not going to last forever this is really reminding me of you know bitcoin in you know t early 2019 right here and also reminding me of bitcoin in early 2015 right here you know before the beginning of the maniac so subscribe please uh, make sure you are hitting that you know like button